What's going on YouTube? So, you just saw my new box on. This thing is pretty dope. Um, I want to give a big shout out real quick to uh, Dilmos Hamilton. He's a uh, admin of Bay Mafia. And uh, he's in a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of groups. He makes a lot of different uh, box mods. He's an old guy. I love him. He's a band teacher. He's hilarious. Um, but he makes some really cool stuff. He makes some standard Hammond boxes. He makes some plastic boxes um, with triple 18650s, double 18650s, dual, whichever ways you want to call it. Who the fuck cares? Drinking my A and W ten. That's damn straight. Um, but yeah, um, Delmos Hamilton, awesome guy. Uh, I got lucky enough to win one of his box mods in a waffle or ego or however they're saying it now um and uh this is what it is it's cool it's like a mr potato head almost but it is a minion i now have a dual 18650 minion box mod and this thing rocks it it rocks face just it it just plumes all day um it's pretty nice uh very well made very simply made i'm not even gonna lie it's simply made but it hits like a freight train and uh it's pretty good. Um, sorry, I got a million people messaging me tonight. But tonight is habitual vapors. Habitual vapors. Ooh, I left their paper. Two seconds. One and two. Okay, three, three seconds. So, habitual vapors. Okay. Um, You've seen everybody doing all the stuff. Um, they're at habitualvape.com. Also Facebook, Habitual Vapor. Um, let me give you the prices real quick. Uh, they have a sample pack that's web only. It is $20. You get five 10 mil bottles of your flavor of Nick and Choice. You get a 30 mil bottle for 18, 60 for 30, and 120 for 55. That's not bad prices. Now all their juices are 70, 30 PG. It is a uh, PG ratio includes any PG based flavorings in the juice. They also have a 100% VG based nicotine. And I love that they, they include all this stuff too. Um, they're also having tanks versus drippers. Uh, this is, I love this because it, it, it gives you a lowdown. If you're gonna order this juice, you're gonna know what to use it in correctly. Um, he says, although our juice is designed with cloud chasers in mind, it can be used in certain tanks. Um, now your tank can handle a high VG juices. Clearos are a no-no, but rebuildable tanks with replaceable heads are usually good to go. So all those new Atlantises and everything else going out, I got to thank John at the top. And, you know, yeah, it's nice. Really nice. It's good that they send this out. Um, it's really cool stuff. Um, I only have problems with one flavor. Uh, being completely honest, being completely non-biased or anything, everything else is pretty good. Uh, it's it's decent. There's there's two flavors that I really really actually like a lot, um, and one of them is on this minion mod. This minion mod, this thing's so cool. I can take his eyeball off. Changes. He's supposed to be baby Carl or party Carl or whatever. All those things. So. Um, Um, yeah. Oh, a little update real quick from HFS. I got my sticker. I got my sticker. It's going on my car. Can't wait. Sticker on my car. Mm. I got a poop with a halo on my car. And my minion's dancing. Mm, 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 mm. And his hours move. Okay, I'm, I'm done dorking out for tonight. I've had a little bit to drink too, so. But okay, so first off from Habitual Vapor, I've got uh, loot. Now here's something pretty cool. All right, so they have all their warning stuff on the side. I like their logos. Their logos are pretty cool. They put a lot into this packaging. Um, there's their uh, www.habitualvape.com. That's pretty cool. And here's their actual logo. It's got a little T-Rex running, a little vapor at the end of the trail. I like how they put the three nick at the very top in the middle, um, and, and then the name. They did a lot. They did a lot of good work on this. Um, and it says handcrafted liquids. It's really nice. I like it. Um, the bottle's nice. It doesn't leak. Uh, unlike all the other ones, it's, it is a glass dripper, 
If you guys don't like those, I actually really like glass. Um, it, it's a nice touch. You don't always get your most amount of juice out of it, but you can. Um, but the first one I'm doing tonight is, can you guess? Fruit Loops. It's called Looped. Um, it's a really good one. Uh, this one I actually get more cereal and lemon than I would all the other flavors, but it's still really good. I like that malt, that malt, I guess they call it malt meal kind of flavor to it. So on the inhale and through the middle is where you get your malt, your cereal flavor is what they call it. Excuse my phone. Let me mute that real quick. You guys need to shut up. Stop texting me. Um, uh, is where you get your flavor for that. And then it kind of coincides and, and flows out with the exhale. And then the exhale, you get the lemon. Now the lemon's not like that overpowering uh, lemon. No, it's actually really sweet. It's like a sweet kind of um, sugary lemon. It's really good. It's not too overpowering. It's not too citrusy. Really good vape. As you can tell, it plumes really well. This is kind of a shitty build. I'm not even gonna lie. I, I didn't want to melt his head because he is plastic. Um, so it's like a 0.17. It's like six wraps, 22 gauge. But it's a really good flavor. I actually enjoy this one a lot. I've been vaping this one all day today. Um, no offense, I've had a, <coughs> excuse me, HFS. This is just how I do my juice. I'll vape it for a few days and try every flavor. I mean, it's really good though. Um, I'm not going to compare juice companies. That's just not how I roll. Um, but it does hit its mark. It tastes like Fruit Loops. It really does. Um, it's really good. And I like that sweet lemon at the end. It's almost like a lemon head flavor. Not sour, but that, that sweet one when you get to the center of it. That's that flavor. Um, so we'll go on to the next thing. Oh, another cool thing is all the bottles are color coded too. So each bottle has a different color. So here is the next one. This one is Munch Berries, which is obviously obvious. Crunch berries. Um, it's really good uh, for the fact that I do love the fact that they had a massive cereal flavor in it. Um, you really, you can smell the uh, Captain Crunch that's in it. You can smell it. You can taste it. Um, and the berries fall in the end. It, it's it's kind of nice. It's really really nice. I don't know if it's a strawberry. I can't really figure it out. If I can get the box mod to work, it's the only one I got a problem with. He doesn't like me very much. But you really do. I almost taste a little milk in there too. It's kind of good. It's really good. These are my two favorite flavors, like I said. These are really good. They really stood out as um, the good flavors that I got to choose from. They're a pretty new group from what I understand. His name is James Speed. If you don't know him, he's a really awesome dude. Um, let me see if I can find his name real quick. Uh, it was on there somewhere. Oh, it's on his card. The card got jacked up. Sorry, buddy. Um, but... This one has a heavy cereal flavor because you get those little, the little pieces of the uh, crunch berries. It's not just a crunch or the berry, it's the crunch too. And it's really good. Um, almost peanut buttery, almost. It's, it's like right there, but it's really good. I enjoy this vape. This could be an all day vape for me. Um, the flavor is really bold. So on the inhale, you get the, uh, the cereal. The, you get cereal throughout the whole vape. Um, and then the berries hit up on the end. Um, yeah, really, really good. Really good. Um, I'm usually not into one of those ones. It's like, ooh, cereal loops. Like, yeah, I like the looped and, and the, the fruit loops. But I, I've never found a really good crunch berry. I've never found a really good peanut butter crunch berry or peanut butter crunch, whatever they call it. Captain, whatever. But yeah, so that one's really good. These are my two favorites so far. Um, those two get a definite two thumbs up. Um, they hit those ones on the mark. Next up is Bee's Knees. Now Bee's Knees should be an obvious one. Uh, I've done a lot of uh, milk and honey flavors before. I vaped DNA uh, milk and honey. It's probably one of my favorite vapes that I ever had until it started upsetting my palate and my throat because I stopped vaping six and I didn't want to buy any more. Um, but this one's not bad. It's it's pretty mellow. Um, here's the bottle. They actually changed a little bit at the top on there. See, it says three milligram. 
Oh no, you might not be able to see it because I'm a little shaky tonight. But here's the color of this one. It's a lighter green. Um, it's pretty nice. Um, but yeah, we got this one on the series with a troll. Now, with this one, the flavor does not change from the inhale to the exhale. It's the same from the beginning to the end. I, that is a plus for me. I do like that in, in some vapes that they can mix them perfectly like that. It makes more sense to me. Don't get me wrong. I do love my parts of vaping and figuring them out. But this one, it's blended just right. Um, it's, more, it's more honey than milk. Um, the milk's there. It's, it's like a light undertone, but you definitely get more honey out of it. And it's, it's really good. It's, it's, it's actually a really good vape. Like I said, it's a little bit more mellow, and I like that. I'm a mellow kind of guy. Um, I do like some of those in-your-face, like lemonades, but um, it's really delicious. Um, but you definitely do get more honey than milk. Um, the milk is there, like I said. You'll, you'll taste it, you'll, you'll feel it. Um, it'll hit your palate just right. And uh, it tastes really good. These guys are pretty good. They, so far, I mean, like I said, with only the exception of the one juice that I, um, I, I really wasn't enjoying, and hopefully it was my cotton and wasn't the juice, um, because I usually do enjoy most juices. Um, these, these have been pretty decent. So next up is Backwoods. Now Backwoods, I love how they call it Backwoods because it's supposed to be like a field of strawberries with some cream. Now Backwoods, that takes me home. I'm from Oklahoma originally, so Backwoods is home. And uh, this juice is really good. It's mellow, it's very mellow. Um, the strawberry is a little bit more of a ripe strawberry than anything, um, so it's like you picked it from the field. Um, and if uh, the strawberry follows from the beginning to the end, the cream is kind of from the beginning to the middle and, uh, it's, it's very light in the exhale. Um, but it's a really good vape. It's a really mellow vape. Um, one thing real quick, none of these have left a really bad, um, aftertaste in my mouth, except for one. But I'm gonna go over it. It wasn't a bad aftertaste. It just wasn't uh, one I was expecting. Um, and none of these so far are coil stainers at all. You can burn it off and put a new flavor on, and it, you get the full flavor. I do like that. I don't do that in my videos just for the fact that I don't want to risk it. Um, I test that on my own. That's something I, I suggest everybody can try to do. Um, see it. Try it. Uh, cinnamon vapes are one of the ones that are gonna kill your coils faster than anything. Custards you'll never get out. But everybody knows I'm a custard guy, so custard's fine with me. Uh, and then you know, a little cinnamon and custard. Ooh, I'm gonna tell Eric or HFS to make me some of that or somebody. Um, but like I said, Backwoods is more of a ripe strawberry, so it's a little bit more puckered, a little bit more uh, the sour, sour strawberry. And it's, it's, it's a decent vape. It's a really good, it's clean. One other thing I did notice about them for all you guys that are freak, you know, that freak out about coloring and you know, I don't, um, these guys are perfectly clear. I've never, they don't have anything like that yellow that you're seeing right now is actually because of my camera. This has no color in it whatsoever. None of these juices do. They're all perfectly clear. So there's no food coloring. I'm guessing there's none of the other bull crap in it that everybody else finds. Um, Who's on here too? Uh, no. Um, but it, there's none of the crap in there. I mean, you've got juices that are like, crap, I can't even find it anymore. I have some that are red and blue and green and yellow and, and, and whatever. Um, but he doesn't use any food coloring. Now that's a, that's a plus for a lot of people. Um, and it's okay. I like it. I like that. It, it's, it's nice to see that they can have such a wonderful line no coloring and it still tastes amazing and it's good so on to the problem child in my opinion um it's called frankie bones um i like me some i like me some strawberry cheesecake but this one just didn't hit the mark for me um i'm not saying that you guys i don't know what happened I, like i said i hope it's the cotton 
This is just probably going to be a, 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 a surprise vape because I vaped it again on some new cotton and uh, it just it didn't hit the mark for me. It, yeah, it doesn't. It's okay though. Um, one out of five ain't bad. Uh, <laughs> I'm running it on the Kennedy. I really wanted to get some pull the flavor out of this one. Uh, so I stuck it on something I knew was going to be freaking. I got a nice Kennedy too. I only got the one air hole though, which sucks on each side. But um, I'm on the FU mod. FU. Um, but the only thing I taste out of it is the strawberry. The strawberry is the only thing I get. And then when it comes down to the cheesecake, it doesn't taste right. Uh, it tastes a little synthetic to me. Um, not a big deal for a lot of people. A lot of people actually probably will love this just for the strawberry flavor. But uh, it has a weird aftertaste. That's what killed it for me. Um, this weird aftertaste is just a little off. Um, I don't know what it is. Maybe you guys can look into it a little bit. Uh, but I don't, I don't taste cheesecake. And I can usually pull out cheesecake. It's one of my favorite things to vape. Um, I'm very, very picky too on cheesecake. Uh, vape juice is one of the ones I, I love their cheesecake. They really put a lot into it. Um, but I'm not comparing brands. Oh yeah, here's the colors of these last two, by the way. Another, it's kind of a lighter yellow and then uh, a, a, like a teal. Um, but Frankie Bones just didn't hit the mark for me. And that's okay, that's okay. Um, I know, I've known this guy for actually a while. Um, and uh, I know he's gonna either figure it out or he's gonna be like, hey, I like it that way. And I'm like, hey, cool, man, it's your juice. That's, that's just how it is. All this is subjective. I'm not giving him a bad review at all. I'm just saying that one just didn't hit the mark for me. Uh, it might for you, and that's cool. That's how this is all supposed to go. It's all focused around what everybody likes. So um, don't take it as a knock. Uh, there's only one company I've knocked and uh, they can, yeah. Um, actually two companies. One of them I didn't review uh, because they were terrible. I'm not gonna bring them in because there's some bad blood there. Um, but otherwise, this juice is really good. It's good quality. It's high quality. You can see the quality in it just because of, of what I've shown you. No food coloring, no crap. Um, they're not coil stainers. They're, they're, they're full flavored juices. Um, and they cloud really well. Um, let's go back to this loot. I like this loot. I just like vaping on a minion box. Um, full flavor. The warmer you get with, I've noticed with this one also, it's, it's mainly with all vapes, but the warmer you get in a lot of vapes, sometimes it'll mute the flavor a little bit, sometimes. With this one, it doesn't. It's, it's always full flavor. So you're getting the whole juice flavor all the way through. Um, and it's really good. I have to give him two thumbs up completely in my opinion on this juice, even with the one that I didn't like. That's just me. Um, but I do recommend you guys go hit these guys up. They've got some great prices in my opinion. Uh, Freaking... 55 bucks for 120 mils of this juice. That's a good price. That's a really good price. A lot of companies out there, um, you, you try to get fit, uh, 120 mils, you're looking at upwards of 80, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100 bucks. And that's ridiculous in my opinion. And for a quality like this, that you can tell are really crafted juices, that they're a premium line, um, that's an amazing price. Uh, in my opinion, a lot of people are like, oh, I'm just gonna go back to white label. It's 20 bucks for 120 mils. All right, dude, that's cool. You want a premium liquid that has a good price? This is one of those ones you can go with. So, um, two thumbs up, buddy. Uh, Habitual Vapors is a go. I, I really do want to try the rest of his flavors. Um, there's a couple in there that kind of freak me out, though. Uh, I think it was like peanut butter and bananas, and, and I hate peanut butter. I hate peanut butter vape. I love peanut butter in real life. Um, but it's a good, it's a good, uh, good stuff. Um, here's one other thing I wanted to talk about before we go. I'm actually really pissed off about it. If you guys haven't noticed, I'm a little bit more twitchy than, than I was with the caffeinated juice, which is high voltage, amazing stuff. Um, uh, SB 140, I live in California because I'm stationed here and, uh, I, uh, I hate it. I, I am so pissed off about this whole situation. I, I watched it. I listened to it. 
and, and the lies that they are spreading about the vaping community and, and how the vaping, oh, it creates this and it creates that and it creates this. It's like, dude, you're a liar. You, you guys are straight lying. Um, California, we need to stand up. I can't do anything. I, I'm, I'm not one allowed by my job and two, um, I'm not a resident here, but it does affect me because I live here and I also sell things here. I do a lot for the vaping community here. I try to, and uh, it, 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 it's gonna hurt us. They're gonna classify us under tobacco and we aren't tobacco. We are a small business, not big tobacco. And uh, I really want to give a shout out to all the people that showed up. Local Vape, I know they are one of them. They're one of the hardest hitters on it because they started here in Cali. They started right where this crap is going down in their town. And uh, it, it's bull crap. Plain and simple. It's just straight shit. And uh, we really need to support them on this one. I know Nevada got theirs pushed back out. They're not doing it. Uh, a lot of states are doing it. And uh, it just needs the support of the people. So if you guys can show up or, or do whatever you can to shut this down, that'd be amazing. Because California is probably one of the hardest states to do something like that in. Once California has their mindset on something, no matter how dumb it is, they wasted $75 million. That could have gone to the fact that we're losing water in a year. Um, on two vaping commercials that uh, say vaping's bad. You know, way to waste your tax money, right? So... Um, I do, like I said, it, there's some good with it. Our, our, our uh, big time companies that are in the, in the vaping industry, a lot of small businesses, a lot of people, there was lines around the block. And uh, one of the biggest things that pissed me off was the guy who proposed it stalled so we didn't have as much time. And that's bull crap. Uh, California uh, Health Department, pull your head out of your fucking ass. If you have children, sorry. Um, but this is something that's going to affect us all. And, uh, but yeah, shout out to you guys. Uh, shout out to Dilmos, amazing box mod, um, and Habitual Vapors. You guys are awesome. Keep doing what you're doing. I can't wait to see your future flavors because I'm sure you got some cool stuff cooking up in your mind right now. And uh, I thank you for all the juice. Um, these are pretty pretty nice sized bottles. I'm pretty sure what are these, 50 mils, 30 mils? I think they're about 50. Uh, yeah, they're 50. 50 or 30. But he sent me some pretty big bottles, and it was these are nice bottles, like childproof. Oh, yeah, that's one thing I didn't go over. It's a childproof cap. I mean, they're all FDA regulated style bottles, um, you can see, and uh, it's nice. Glass, I love glass, and uh, yeah, so from the spike paper. Keep on vaping, YouTube.